I'm Francisco Dean, creator, founder, director of uh, a newly created ensemble that we're calling now the Electroacoustic Ensemble. The goal for me was to try to find a way to have these electronic sounds exist in an ensemble context where you do get the human interaction. It's not just one person sitting at a computer creating by themselves. The process of building the speakers was really a matter of cobbling together a bunch of components um, that were bought off of online sources and whatnot. Really, it was about you know just getting these components and ripping them apart and taking the parts that we needed and putting them together. They're called hemisphere speakers, literally made from IKEA salad bowls. We got the idea from Dr. Go Wong, who uh, founded his ensemble over at Stanford University. It was a great project for this makerspace initiative that we're starting here at our school with middle school and high school students and faculty. So it was all electronics, building everything from scratch. Not doing that one again. When we were first playing around with the programming language chalk that we're using, we experimented with combining all these different types of waves to try to get interesting and unique sounds. And in combining those, we get much more complicated things. And so the way we're making these digital instruments uh, is through code. Computer science is a science. It's a little bit of a weird language. Uh, it takes a while to get a hang of it, but it allows you to create these really cool instruments. We have these, uh, which sound like church bells that we can play uh, that are set up. So when you move your hand forward on this hand tracker, it'll play the note corresponding to where your hand is in, in this uh, X plane. Mr. Dean wanted me to compose either an arrangement of this piece called Spring is an Empty Mind that was performed by the Stanford Laptop Orchestra, or else make a piece that was in a similar style to this. And at first I was unsure how to start because it wasn't something I'd ever done before. So I just kind of jumped right in and wrote something, and I liked the way it sounded, and I like having had the experience of writing a new kind of music, like I haven't written for computers before. You also have to consider the limitations of the instruments, like each player can only play four notes, four different pitches in the entire piece, and the sweep instrument can only play one note, one pitch for the whole piece. The only other places that we've seen doing this have been big universities like Stanford. So it's really cool that we get a chance to do the same kind of thing in high school and maybe um, we'll take these ideas that we're learning here and take them to the, whatever college we end up at and start um, bringing these, this new, new kind of music to areas all across the country. Nothing you see on stage is traditional instruments. These are all either controllers that were hacked or non-conventional performing devices that just kind of show a new and innovative way to think about how we play and perform.